Normal 16 by 9 content, the side columns could be used as ambient mode or a window mode to blend in seamlessly to the aesthetics of the home or the end user's uh, office or building or storefront, whatever it may be. As you can see, we can separate again to show that you can start with a 16 by 9 format and add more modules later to create that theater room experience with the uh, super wide display as well. It's going to be optimized for whatever aspect ratio you pump into it, which is very nice. Allow it to blend into the room for whatever is not used. On the far right, you'll be able to see that we have a 1 by 7 vertical window. Again, this is to show off the endless possibilities and modularity of micro LED. This will allow customers or consumers to have anything displayed that they might want. We've learned in the last few years that with the frame and art mode and ambient mode, the consumers want their screens to do more than just view TVs and movies. They want to be visually pleasing when not in use as well. This creates endless possibilities. So you can add any aesthetic to a room. Say you have a home where there wasn't a window on the wall that you would like, you could create a window with the micro LED panels and create a visually, a visually appealing wall or you know, a blank wall into a visually appealing wall. Say you have a bar that's eight feet long, you could do a two by eight panel and have that be a digital fish tank that can also play the games when the sports are on, whatever it may be. So again, endless possibilities. And on the far wall, you'll see we have a one by five setup with the left one being the audio module. So with the speaker module, we can add those onto any display size or screen ratio that you've come up with to give you a built-in audio experience. The connectivity well. has uh, done, the connectivity. Yeah, so if you go down at the end, they're gonna show that demonstration down there so you can see how they all clip together and everything. So he's giving a live demo down there. So you don't see and for the... So there's two pieces. You see yeah. there's a, black, a back plate, and see I just took off the front plate, which is the micro LED version of part of it, portion of it. There's small knobs that you can twist, dials that you can twist that activate the hooks to clip into each module. So you have one master module that's mounted to the wall, and you can go up to five modules across that can be mounted before being needed to secure it to the wall again. So it keeps that ease of installation. We want the end user to be able to expand as needed or for the screen this to scroll. This is one, uh, one, one, one module. Dial, one yep, one single module. Yep. This is what we say is the beginning of everything. One square module to be the starting point for your endless possibilities with no boundaries. And for 75 inches, how many models? Uh, I'm not, I don't have that exact number. It'll depend. These models aren't set in stone. This is all conceptual future, so they may be different size panels to get you like certain... Like Lego. Yeah, because there could be certain size panels with different resolutions to create the size and resolution that the customer may need. So the, the possibilities are kind of endless. This is more the conceptual future of the modularity of the design. Do you, many, do, do you know about the weight of the display? I mean, no, and that could change as well because again, it's all conceptual now. These, none of these are final products yet. This I is see. all the prototypes of the conceptual design of micro LED wall. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, can you do that? Can you install? Yeah. So, we'll have our engineer here show you guys the install. So, again, they come in two pieces. Here you'll see the back module. We already have our master module with another one that's laid here to it. He's going to add another one here. You can see he's going to turn the dial. We'll allow the hooks to engage with the other monitor panel right from the bottom module already. The, LED, the micro LED portion is magnetized. So, we'll pair that and slide it in. And you'll see it'll activate itself. And now we've got the aspect ratio, that's something that was unique to you, you could stick with that. If you want to go two by two, we'll add another module, you'll see it'll do two dials this time to connect to the top and to connect to the side, and we'll grab the LED module and pair that as well. Now we have a four by four, again, it could be for moving images, it could be still images, it could be just a picture frame for you, it could be a calendar with a clock, then the possibilities are relatively endless. Next here we have the audio module. Here we have two audio modules on a stand. We can also add a video module to that as well. So we'll add another micro LED module that allows the possibility to display cover art while we're listening to music. So as you see, once he pairs it here, we'll get the similar idea. So two audio modules, we'll go ahead and turn the dial and we'll connect it again. We'll add the micro LED, again, all magnetized and slide in very easily. The goal here was that the installation would be very easy for the end user. We want people to be able to expand when they feel it's time to expand. So 
that's what that is. I'll go to that next one. Yeah. But you need some, some special um, image for SSA. So there'll be a pattern. Yeah, the video can actually come in. So here, this is the master module. Yeah. All slices. So there is no external module always there. There may be. This all So we have two audio modules on a stand. Here we have one audio module wall mounted with our 5 by one display. So you can see again, a ratio free design. What kind of speakers are inside the electrodynamic? Uh, they could be anything, yeah. so it's all conceptual stuff. So, yeah. so it can be completely changed. This is the pixel density of the display right now. What's that? The pixel density. The, one, the prototype is 360 by 360 currently, but again, since these are all prototypes, they could change. So depending on the end of the wall, we may all have some size and one pixel density size. So depending on what you want to get out. Because obviously if you want to do like a 46 inch 4K, then a pixel density may need to be different than it doing an 80 or 8K or something like that. Maybe you should be if you might know it and put what is that or less this organic or is it unorganic? Inorganic, yes. Like the yeah. inorganic. But this yeah. is the main difference. LED, LED. So in theory, the end, the end result would be uh, uh, no image degradation over time, uh, no screen burning possibilities, no limited peak brightness, things like that. But again, as they come out, we'll see more. When you go check out the current version of the wall, we'll give you more of the details of the current micro LED that's available. This has got a lot of cool specs with that as well. So here we're more talking about just the conceptual modularity of the design. Thank you. And you can see here, we have a one by seven window. So again, we've learned over the last several years that with the, with the adoption of the frame and ambient mode in QLED last year, the consumers want their screens to do more than just play videos, right?